Ladies and gentlemen, David Ingram, let him know, David Ingram! I am so excited. This is the best decade ever. Two of my favorite things are now legal. Pot and gay sex. That's right. I like to smoke before I poke. And today, if you haven't heard, Oregon became the third state to legalize recreational marijuana. Now, I believe we did legalize medical marijuana. It was just, for some reason, we couldn't remember to go do that recount thing. Some people who voted for this really blew my mind. I saw this group of little old church ladies and I went up and I said, do you smoke pot? And they said, no, we like edibles. <laughs> and they gave me a sample and man, could those ladies bake. <laughs> However, when I was baked, all they did was sit there and complain about all the medications they were on and all the crazy stuff. Um, side effects and how the insurance wouldn't pay and that actually jail was cheaper and healthier. So I guess orange is the new gray. <laughs> but then inspiration hit me. Next time I'm going to Colorado, I'm taking a little old lady. Because one, she drives a Cadillac. Two, a cop is a lot less likely to bust a woman who reminds him of his grandmother than a man who reminds him of the uncle we don't talk about. <laughs> and just a decade ago, that cop could come into my house and arrest me for making sweet love to my boyfriend. And that's unfair. I already had the handcuffs on. You have the right to remain silent. No shit, I'm wearing a gag ball. <laughs> but now we have a president that can say the letters LBGT. And that means we need a vowel. Who the hell came up with an acronym that you can't pronounce? Lesbians, get on this. But no, they want to add a cue for questioning. You're not helping. The only word Americans know that end in Q is Iraq. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I'm picking on the lesbians, gay world is just like straight world. Women do all the work, men take all the credit. <laughs> and as of last week, the man that I love the most, the man who has been with me for 16 years, who has stood beside me through the worst times of my life, who held my hands through the best, who threw me the best damn parties. We are married. We are husbands. And you know what that means? That, that bastard can take half of everything I own. However, I get to keep all the pot. Thank you. I'm David Ingram.